Seating was shut down because of the pandemic. Restaurants were temporarily allowed to move their seating outdoors onto sidewalks and streets. And even though things are getting back to normal, it looks like extended outdoor dining is going to stick around for a little while longer. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie joining us live. Mary, City of San Diego, the City Council deciding to extend that outdoor permits through July of next year, but they say they're still planning on some crackdowns. Well, it's a catch of the extension, if you will. The city says it'll be stepping up enforcement on violators that'll force some changes potentially. But Little Italy, of course, is one of those city areas that's really built out their outdoor seating. Many of the structures you see cost upwards of $10,000 to build, and they won't be there forever, but they will be around for more than a year, it's looking like. The city says about 415 San Diego businesses were permitted to shift operations outside to take over the sidewalks and the streets as really a lifeline during the pandemic when indoor operations were not allowed or they were severely limited. At Barbusa, for one, they're in Little Italy. They say the impact is much bigger than just additional seating. It's really about reestablishing consumer confidence. So Tuesday, the city council did vote to extend the permits that they've issued through mid-July of next year, but they said they would step up enforcement on those who are violating those permits. The city says they're getting lots of complaints about red curbs being blocked, other violations, unsafe structures, for instance. They say they do want to work with businesses to make it right since they will be here to stay for a while. It might not be quite so simple, though. The city says it did not permit parklets with roofs or other permanent style features, and they've received lots of complaints about those businesses who have extended beyond what's permitted. We will be working with businesses uh, to seek corrections to those, um, and if left uncorrected, uh, the city would be forced to re revoke those permits and not renew them for the following year. Now, the city planning department did say they would make up a list of a series of options, permanent rules as well for outdoor entertainment, outdoor dining, et cetera. They plan to release those in the fall. Reporting live from home, Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.